Hey, we're in Birmingham, Alabama on our way to Memphis. We're at the Bottle Tree, one of the coolest music venues, restaurants in the country, maybe the world. The Bottle Tree was opened by members of Manor Astro Man, famous surf alien moon band. There's just so much cool crap here. Hi, we're in the North Mississippi Hill Country, Oxford, Mississippi, hanging out at End of All Music. David, is it really the End of All Music? What happened? No, it's not. The End of All Music is actually a quote from Charlie Feathers. It's on uh, Junior Kimbrough's tombstone. It says Junior Kimbrough was the beginning and the end of all music, so we just copped that line, threw it on a building, and now we sell records. How do you think the government shutdown is going to affect the record industry? <laughs> I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't think it will. You'll care when it'll be the end of all music. Yeah, when it's the end of all music, yeah. um, you know, we'll we'll figure out a way to crank, get crank record players, and still, it's all analog, baby. You know, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm John Gary Williams, the Mad Lads, uh, Stax Artist. I'm here to show some of my favorite spots in the Stax Museum. First of all, this is one of my favorites, the Oscar for Isaac Hayes. Hayes was the first African American in history to win an Oscar for music. That's one of my favorites. Marvin. Pick it lines. Don't punish me. Her brutality. Come on, talk to me. This is one of my favorites. I'm so in love with you, Elvin. Those were the clothes of the 60s. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, but I, I love the leather, but that's a little far out for me. This right here to my right is the uh, Farfisa organ that Sam Shan used to cut Woody Bully in Little Red Riding Hood. In 1965, Woody Bully was a worldwide number one hit. Larry was the mastering engineer at Stax, the original one from 70 to 75. <clears throat> and then he moved his business over here, and he and his son Kevin uh, run that. Come on in the house! Say hi to Larry Nix. Hey guys! This is the thing. It takes all of this, plus most of that, to cut the masters for your vinyl records. Occasionally we'll recut something uh, that we may have cut in 1974 or 75. And Larry kept all of his cards with all the settings. We can actually replicate exactly. I mean, you can't tell the difference. You can A, B them. You know, what we did in the 70s and, and, and what we're doing now, so. Hi, my name is Ben Blackwell. We're here in the vinyl mastering room here at Third Man Records in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, what we do here at Third Man that no one else anywhere else in the world does is we record bands live in front of a crowd direct to acetate. This lathe came out of King Records in Cincinnati. So your James Brown, your Little Willie John, Hank Ballard and the Midnighters, Eddie Kirkland, um, all the federal titles would have been uh, recorded on this little lathe. Hi, I'm Lawrence Boo Mitchell, and you're at Willie Mitchell's Royal Studios in Memphis, Tennessee. All of Al Green's records was done here, 
Ann Peoples, Otis Clay, uh, O.V. Wright, Seal Johnson, Ike and Tina Turner, Keith Richards, Rod Stewart. What kind of operation are you going to do? Uh, uh, give me a mouth mirror, somebody. I'm Dr. O.T. Sykes, uh, sometimes known as the singing dentist from Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, we taking care of this young man right now. We're going to put some style in his smile. <laughs> All right.